Hello, hello, hello. Ms. Terry Davids here and time to learn another video with some interesting facts about two linear equations. So watch and see what two lines will look like and also check out some interesting facts about their slope. Four scenarios can occur when you have two lines. They can be perpendicular, which means they cross at one point at a 90 degree angle. They can be parallel, which means they will never cross. They can be intersecting lines, which means they will cross at one point that is not a 90 degree angle. Sometimes they call these neither. Or the two lines could actually be on top of each other and are actually the same line. Watch what slope has to do with all of these things. Okay, if lines are parallel, then their slopes are the same. And you will notice in the two lines over to the right, both of the equations have a slope of two, therefore the lines are parallel. If lines are perpendicular, then their slopes are opposite reciprocal, which means we change the sign, if it's negative, we make it positive. If it's positive, we make it negative. And reciprocal, you will remember, means that we flip it upside down. And you will notice in this graph to the right, we have one that has a slope of three, which means that's really three over one. And then we have the other slope as negative one over three. Change it to the opposite and then flipped it upside down. Therefore, the lines are perpendicular. If the slopes aren't opposite reciprocal or they're not the same, then we call these lines intersecting. You'll notice here we have the blue line has a slope of negative one and the red line has a slope of positive three and they are crossing at one point, the point two four, Therefore, they are intersecting lines. They're not parallel or they're not perpendicular. So if you have two linear lines, are they parallel? Are they perpendicular? Or are they neither? First hint, put them in slope-intercept form. You remember that y equals mx plus b? And then compare the slopes, and then you'll be able to determine if they're parallel, perpendicular, or neither. All right, let's try some. We have two linear equations at the top. I'm going to put them in slope-intercept form. So step one, I'm gonna carry my x term over after the equal sign. Make note that I changed the sign because I went across the equal sign. And then I'm going to divide by the two in front of the y, and I get the equation y equals two x plus five. The other one, I'm going to move my x to the other side. It now becomes positive, and I have y equals 2x plus 10. And you'll notice in both of the equations, the slope is 2. Therefore, these two lines are parallel. Okay, we have two more linear equations. Let's put them in slope-intercept form first. We're going to carry our 2x over to the other side. And then we're going to divide by our 2, and we will get a equation in slope-intercept form. The other equation, we're going to pull our x to the other side, and we also have an equation in slope-intercept form. In the first equation, our slope is negative 1, and on the second equation, our slope is 1. Put both of these over 1. And you will notice that that is the opposite reciprocal. Therefore, these lines are perpendicular. Okay, here, let's try another one. First step, let's put them in slope-intercept form. Pull our x to the other side. Divide by the negative 3. On the other side, we pull our x to the other side of the equation, and we have a negative y, which is a negative 1. Don't forget that invisible 1. So let's divide by negative 1 all the way through, 
because we cannot have a negative y in slope intercept form. And you'll notice here our slope is negative one third and our slope is seven. Therefore, these lines are neither. The slopes aren't the same and the slopes aren't opposite reciprocals. Okay, here we have equations with only one variable in them. Let's put them in the right format. You will notice on the negative x, we have a negative one we have to divide by. And in our y equations, our slope is zero. In our x equations, our slope is undefined. So if you think about what these equations look like when they are graphed, here is your y equals three line and your x equals negative four. So you will notice that if you have a horizontal and vertical line, you will find that your equations are perpendicular. So our takeaways, we use mathematical equations and models to quickly find out if the lines are intersecting parallel or crossing at right angles. There are several professions such as astronomical engineers, architectures, contractors, civil engineers, and event planners that could definitely benefit from this math concept, and they probably use it. Thank you for viewing, and be sure to hit that subscribe button to hear about new and exciting ways to make math easier. And again, you can also contact me at tntcenter.com for live tutoring online. Thanks for watching.